Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf! Yesterday, or technically today because it was after midnight, we had a bit of a midnight party where we hung out after midnight and saw what you could do late at night in Animal Crossing. Not quite everything, I wanted to save at least a few things in case I decided to play late at night once again. Anyway, today we have some new things opening up here in town. We got a hair salon up on Main Street according to Isabel. And, well, I could go there first, I think that we should go down to Town Hall and we should initiate a new public works project, but of course, not before seeing the ceremony for the one that we did yesterday, the street lamp. So, let's do that. Now, I do have to say, um, I was saying yesterday that I really liked the, uh, flower idea for Amelia, but the thing is, another thing that I kind of wanted to bring up is that even though Amelia's gone, she's not dead, and that's kind of why I just feel like the street lamp is a really, really nice thing, because we can hope that she could return, because... You know, she likely moved somewhere over the internet or over Street Pass or something like that, so it's entirely possible that Amelia might come back someday. I mean, it's not likely, mind you, because I don't think I've ever gotten a repeat villager to come back in Animal Crossing ever, but you know what I mean. It's just that we can just sort of celebrate this to remember Amelia and just kind of have this here, just in hopes that maybe she'll come back someday. There we go. That concludes our ceremony. Thanks everyone for all your hard work and for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here. Once again, what busy schedules? We just mingle and catch fish all day. <laughs> so is there anyone who wants to talk to me? Uh, who haven't we talked to now? Oh, Biscuit. Oh hey, I saw this movie last night about a guy who travels the world and says these adventures. Oh no. I want to have adventures too, at least one adventure, so I've decided to move someplace new. Oh. I'm leaving on the 15th of this month. This is tough. I like Biscuit. I really do. He is one of my favorite villagers from my childhood. And it'd be sad to see him go, but... The way that he puts it, it sounds like it's something he's just got to do for himself. And as a friend, I should support him in that. Oh. Well, thanks for everything. It was nice knowing you. But you should remember one thing. A town without me is like a feast without pepperonichi. Sad and hungry. Dog. Aww, let's talk to you again. Alright, um... If I were to describe how close Stinky and I are, well, I would share a juice box with him, but not ice cream. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, interesting. Uh, well, I guess you're kind of licking ice cream, and you could just kind of have a different straw for a drink, so I guess I can kind of see what he means by that, but... I'm kind of sad that uh, Biscuit wants to leave, but like I said, it seems like it's something that he's got to do for himself, and the snow is so pretty, just saying. I, I don't mean to change topics, though, but just like, this heavy snow is just so pretty, and I'm really, really glad that we might have snow on the ground soon just to make things look more wintry, because the grass is starting to look kind of dead, and it's not quite as pretty as it was when we moved in, so I'm kind of glad that we're getting something different here. And I still hate my running animation. So I'm even telling me that I'm complaining too much about wearing the dress, which I've kind of gotten used to it, to be honest, though, but it's just that running animation is the one thing I can't get over. It's like the one thing that I just can't settle on. All right, so we're going to start a new project. Last night, Blathers was saying that he wanted to get a museum renovation. It is 198,000 bells to do, so a pretty tidy sum, but I'm going to do it because... Doing this public works project is something that I've wanted to do with you guys. Like, I have an idea, like, for how viewers could submit things for this. Not only that, but this public works project will allow you to build more public works projects by just having it in your town. As weird as that sounds, there are some public works projects that are prerequisites to others, and this is an example of that. So, regardless if you care about setting up your own exhibits in the museum or having the second floor, it's a good idea to build it nonetheless. Not to mention, the museum will have a store in it that will sell things that you can't normally get otherwise. So it's indeed very helpful, and huh, all of our fruit trees seem to have grown awesome. You know, we talked to animals quite a bit last night, just in the midnight episode, because we didn't really have anything else to do, so... I see that we headed up to Main Street, and as you can see, the TNT Mart is under construction. We can't stop by and buy any dynamite today. However, I have a bit of a surprise for you guys. I bought the fortune cookie yesterday, and because uh, I wasn't able to go to the TNT Mart during yesterday's episode, I held on to it. So, let's see what the daily fortune is. I can't redeem it, but we can see what it is. Alright, what is it? Your friends need you. They always need you. They will never stop. Oh, wow. Way to guilt trip me for letting Biscuit go like that. Okay. How about this? 
Every now and again when you talk to animals, they will have second thoughts about moving away. If Biscuit begins to have second thoughts, I will try to talk him out of it. That's how I'll do it. If he never has second thoughts and he's just very set on it, I'll let him go. Anyway, on a brighter note, welcome to the new store on Main Street. As you can see by the sign, this place is called Shampoodle. Yeah, I love the pun. Hi there, sugar. Welcome to Shampoodle. Oh my! Aren't you the mayor? It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. My name's Harriet, and this is my salon. I help people wear their inner beauty on the outside. If you want a makeover, sit down in front of the sit down on the chair in front of my machine. Just like any other store on Main Street, it is important for you to come here as often as possible because spending money here will unlock more things for you. So that's kind of nice. Um, so how about we give this a go? We can customize our hair. I'm kind of done with having my Josh Jepsen hair. So, um. What she means by hairstyle or makeup is that once a day you can customize either of these things. Uh, if you do makeup, she can do your makeup to look like a me that you have saved on your Nintendo 3DS. If you do hairstyle, she can change the style and color of your hair. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, I just want to say this. I am really, really hoping that I don't get pink hair because between the facial hair, the dress, the pink sneakers, and then having pink hair, I would be a full-fledged magypsy if I did that. So... I am really, really hoping I don't get that. Um, she gives you these questions, like, for a personality test, and just based on your answers, she will give you hair. I do plan on detailing, like, what the full list of answers that you want to give for getting certain hairstyles is later on, but for the time being, I don't want to spoil that, and I'm just going to answer these questions truthfully. My room is a little on the messy side, yeah. Oh, do tell Sugar. I'm even more interested in what your room's like. Wow, look at the look on her face together with what she's saying. <laughs> wow, we're getting hit on by a poodle. It's like Crazy Tracy all over again. Um, as weird as it sounds, my room is a bit of a mess on purpose because whenever I put things where I want, I remember them a lot easier than if I try to have some kind of organized system. So typically my workspace and just my computer in general is not very clean and tidy. Yeah, I'd like to have my hair... No, I don't want my hair to have a messy feel to it. Uh... Okay, need to pick out the hair color. Um, I'll say intense. Okay, intense colors. Uh, hmm. Okay, no, I am not answering the color of the burning love. That is, that is just asking for it. I'm gonna go color of a deep sea. Understood. Now I know exactly what you want. Let's start styling. Okay, moment of truth. I am terrible at doing drum rolls. I just can't move my hands that quickly. I got the same damn hairstyle! I paid 3,000 bells just to dye my hair blue! Uh, okay, okay. I gotta say, though, I do like that color. The deep blue is one of my favorite hair colors, so I'm kind of cool with that. Um, gonna remove my headgear just so I can wear my hair out a little bit. Not wearing it out as in, you know, it wearing out, you know what I mean. So I'll do that. Okay. So that is the uh, hair salon. I am thinking about restyling my hair pretty regularly because, like I said, it is important to come back here and style your hair pretty regularly. So I'll probably do that. Um, what else is there to do? I guess I could stop by the Able Sisters. I didn't get to talk to Sable or Label yesterday. I don't know if Sable really has anything interesting to say. Um, that's kind of one thing that I want to talk to you guys about. Sable has a bit of a story, and it's not told in this particular Animal Crossing game. Would you guys like me to give specific time to tell Sable's story, or is it kind of just something that you think everybody knows by this point? Because her story is actually kind of deep. What am I going to be shopping for today? If you're looking for do some clothes, please let me know. Yeah, I think they're just going to kind of say the same things again and again, though, so... I'm thinking that if, as long as you guys don't think that it's too terribly redundant, I kind of would like to give Sable's story some attention, though. Just let me know if you think that way, feel that way. Uh, alright. Let's see. Yeah, I'm totally a fashionista there, Pietro. Trend is to wear, is to wear tight clothes nowadays, Emil. Huh? No worries. But with a body like this, how could I ever be the slightest bit embarrassed? But Pietro, you don't even wear clothes. You just wear a scarf. That's it. Nah, whatever. He's kind of weird. If that was any indication. <laughs> he is Pietro overall, and we love him. He is kind of weird, but that's why... We're... Oh, wow! Okay, this turban right here was a special item in other Animal Crossing games. There was a bit of a trading quest that it was part of. Um, but you know what? I think I'm gonna grab it. I, I'm not gonna wear it right away, but I'm just gonna sort of hang on to it. There's the Mexican wrestling mask that I had. Uh, truth be told, any sort of clothing items that I've collected, I've just sort of been holding on to and putting in storage until the end of this week, just until I'm done with the whole dress challenge type thing. So, I will be wearing a bunch of clothing items. Like, I will be switching up my look again quite a bit, though, because some of you guys have been missing that, and I don't blame you. Um, I don't think I'm gonna find any better shoes than the pink sneakers to match what I'm currently wearing, but, uh... I'll at least stop by Kicks and see what's there. I'll be honest, I legitimately really like these socks. I'm gonna grab them for later. So what is next for us on this lovely snowy day that I just 
am sad to be possibly be losing Biscuit on. Well, I think I want a bigger house. So I'm going to pay off my loan to Mr. Nook immediately. Uh, I don't really have enough money to buy do the house loan and the uh, payments on the museum's expansion, but I think I will be heading to the island in a bit and just sort of doing that. Okay. So there we go. Awesome! I finished paying off the home loan! Okay, off to go see Nook now, because I will say this, my room has been getting very crowded. I've been getting a lot of furniture that just doesn't match my room. So I have been looking forward to doing this for a little bit. I said the other day, what? What? We do have Club L in it? Why didn't Isabel tell me about that when I turned the game on? Uh, friggin' Isabel not telling me about everything. I was thinking that we don't have Club L in today. Oh my goodness. It's Emil. So good to see you, hmm? My, you've done it. Your home renovation paid in full. Thanks much. Yes, yes. And your reason for taking care of your financial obligation is your home is not big enough, hmm? Yes, yes, I understand completely, Emil. I can help you build the home of your very large dreams. Very large dreams. That sounds kind of... Yeah. Okay, no. Uh, I want to expand. All right, so I believe home is so oh, cozy. It has second floor. A small loan of two hundred and ninety-eight thousand bells would be required. Small-ish. Let's do it. Excellent. Put your order in right away. Okay. So by tomorrow morning, we will have a second floor to our house, meaning that we're going to have a whole second room. This will allow us to well have a lot more creative freedom when decorating them because I have felt very creatively cramped in this room in the current house that we have, and I just haven't really had the ability to really do much of anything there. Uh, before we go to Club LOL though, which I definitely want to show in this video, I'm gonna go and get a little bit of gardening done, so I'll see you guys in just a moment. Oh, while I was out doing gardening, I shook this perfect tree and this is what I was talking about. Perfect trees will only produce so many harvests and then they will die. Um, after you have gotten a certain number of harvests from them, it can be any amount I believe from two to five, it will die. Not only that, but they produce a limited number of fruit. Why is that a big deal? Rotten peach. This rotten fruit is, well, I don't believe that you can eat it. Now you can't. Uh, if you take it to retail, you will be charged to dispose of it. And this is why, even if you have a beautiful town like me, it's still a good idea to have a trash can in your house because I can just sort of throw it away in the trash for free. Because, well, I am the government. I don't have to think about my tax dollar doing stuff for me, uh, cause I am the, I, I don't know. Either way, when I have my axe next, I think I'm gonna just gonna chop that tree down because it sort of served its purpose and it's just kind of sitting there rotting now, so we'll take care of it. All right, finally, at long last, we have Club LOL. And remember how I said that Dr. Shrunk is a bit of a lovable loser? Well, see, not even Isabel likes him. That's when you know that things are bad. Not even Isabel really, really cared about what he was doing. So. Come on now, you can't come in while I'm in the middle of cle- Ah, Mr. Mayor, it's just you! Thanks for all the help you gave me! Thanks to you, I was able to open my very own live venue! Getting things set up at the moment, we'll have some sort of music event going on every night! Hey, starting at 8pm tonight, we'll be mixing your favorite hits all night with during our DJ party time! More importantly, what do you think of the place? Isn't the stage amazing? I was actually pretty picky about how I wanted it to be. Yeah, I'm certain that vacuum cleaner that you used to clean the floor in here of this abandoned building cost you so many bells. It's really an amazing place, huh? It'd be nice to perform on stage just once here. You might not know this about me, but a long time ago I used to get him perform on stage too. He's actually referencing what his role was in Animal Crossing City Folk. He worked at a theater called The Marquee as a stand-up comic, but he failed miserably at it and nobody liked his jokes and he just sort of lost his job there. So he ended up here in Pallet. Not a musician though, I was a comedian! I retired a while back, but even now that I see a stage, I can just feel it calling to me. Shrunk, it says. Supposed why even now I can sometimes get the urge to share my old jokes with people. Ah, if you're ever interested, I wouldn't mind showing you my stuff during the afternoons while no one's here. Couldn't ask you to pay me, but I wouldn't turn out a nice treat. Any food pretty much works on me. So, that's how we'll do this then. Feel free to stop by any time. And it's very convenient that I went and did my gardening because I have a little bit of fruit on me right now. Uh, you can give them fruit and all kinds of stuff, and yeah, I think I'll do that. Unfortunately, the game will not allow me to see hilarious text of giving him a rotten fruit. So, that's a bit of a peace offering because Dr. Shrunk has gotten stepped on and hated his entire life. I'll give him a perfect peach. Oh, what do we have here? Here you go, buddy. Nobody likes you, but I kinda do. So, because I kinda like you, here's your perfect peach. Yum yum, time to snack. Mmm. Mmm, yum! That's not creepy. Oh my goodness, thanks a bunch. Now I need to thank you since you gave me such a delicious treat. Oh, that's right. Promised to show you one of my old jokes, didn't I? I guess if there's anything I can do to make you happy, that'd be it. 
All right, I have to get ready first, so just you wait right here a second. <laughs> I love his leopard skin jacket that he changed into. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My disagreement joke is going to cure what ails you. Have you heard? Gestures can mean different things in different countries? It's true. Recently, I learned something interesting about the gesture of shaking your head like this. We think of it as, no, that's not true. Can we shake our head left and right? But for people in other parts of the world, it means, yes, that's right. Confusing, huh? What do you think? Are you surprised to hear that? My stories are always both really funny and highly educational. Hey now, everyone in the audience doesn't need to agree all at once. I would totally have that jingle as my theme song if I had one. <laughs> my disagreement joke, okay. So, uh, basically, the jokes that he tells you, you can... <laughs> I think my jokes are still relevant, so I'd like you to try them out too. Yeah, he will give us this. He will give us a joke book to keep jokes that he tells them in. Why do we want to have jokes in our joke book? Well, whenever we click on that icon on the lower screen, we can retell the jokes that he's told us. What exactly does that do? Well, yeah, you can shake your head no, uh, other animals will react to it, other characters in general will react to it, and Dr. Shrunk will oftentimes mirror things if you uh, do them near him, which is kind of cool. I, I like that. It's a nice little touch. It's a little bit charming just to kind of see the animals, like, mirror what you're doing. Uh, when Andrew Arcade was laughing at my peach dress when I went to go visit him, he had a laughing joke. Uh, as you can see, there are many, many jokes to learn. It takes a long time to fill this up. I plan to come here every day. I'm not really certain if I'll be showing it every day. Up to you guys if you think that'd be kind of redundant. Um, only other thing that I want to go over is that there are these four gyroids that are up here on stage. Press A in front of them. If you have your own gyroids that you want to put up here, you can do that. Just because, you know, if you want to customize the gyroids, because there's going to be a live performer up on stage and the gyroids will um, make sounds in tune with the music. So if there's a particular combination of gyroids that you like, you can do that. Also, of course, if there's a gyroid that you just absolutely hate and you like one of the ones up there, you can just sort of take it for yourself. So there's a few ways to look at that. I, I like the gyroid functionality in the club. It's kind of cool. Uh, anyway, uh, I have a bit of a confession to make. I have been stockpiling stationery. I know, scandal of the century, right? Well... Last night, there was something in the post office that I could have shown at nighttime, because, basically in short, there is one resident of our town that we still haven't met yet, despite the fact that we've been here for three weeks. And I want to show that person, I want to show that animal. But yesterday the video was getting kind of long, and I just didn't want things to drag on any longer, so I chose not to show it then. So because we have that live venue tonight at 8 o'clock anyway, I'm thinking that we could go by Club LOL at 8 o'clock, and then shortly afterward, we could stop by the post office and mail off some letters. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head to the Tropical Island and get some money for that museum renovation, so I will see you guys then. What's going on, everybody? We're over here at Club LOL, and I'm going to express my excitement for Club LOL the only way I know how. No, really, shaking my head no is the only way I know how to express myself. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. You can hear that bopping and the bippin' and the let's go in. I'd like you to meet... DJ KK. Uh, at nighttime, uh, after 8 p.m., he will perform here every single night except Saturday nights. What happens on Saturday night? Well, let's just say it's the thing that I kept teasing every Saturday that we couldn't come to Club LOL because that is indeed something very, very special. Now, when you're sitting here in Club LOL, your character will start bobbing their head and you can hit different directions on the D-pad to dance along to the music. Oh, shaking my butt with the dress on, that's kind of funny. Um, yeah, we can raise the roof. Raise it! Yes, that's actually it's really cute. Here, I'll, uh, I'll do that from the front so you can see it. Um, basically, um, his music might sound really similar to music that you hear in your neighbor's houses. Uh, there is indeed a reason for that, which we'll be getting into later. Uh, Pietro's here! He's dancing along! What's he got to say? What's this? Being out this late? He must be up to no good. That's the case. Is that the case, Hong Kong? So something up? Uh, yeah, let's chat. Oh, Emil! Compared to how you usually look, you seem pretty happy and relaxed right now. Yeah, I kinda am. Heck, I don't even have to wear any pants. <laughs> What's up, Shrunk? I want you to get out there, show me your moves, and become dance floor, hop to it. Hey, you know to dance, press the direction you want to be All right, I'll show you my moves. <laughs> that was totally intentional. So you can hang out here, he's got music playing all night, the gyroids will react to the music that he's playing on occasion. As of right now, they're not active, but that'll probably change right as soon as I say it. Um, oh god, no, not my town pass card photo, anything with that. Uh, of course, they show that up on the big screen. 
freaking... They got the flag, at least, which is kind of cool, though, but... Uh, they're showing a photo of me in a dress up on a projection screen for all to see. Wonderful. By all, I mean Pietro and Shrunk. Uh, anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you ever want to, like, just kind of have some background music if you're doing something kind of monotonous, um, just open up your 3DS, come over to Club LOL after 8 p.m., and just kind of... Have the music on repeat, you might hear your town tune in there, you might hear some little details, maybe songs that you remember from previous Animal Crossing games. It's a good time, and this mix is really nice. In fact, I think I've even recorded just the sound from this before and listened to that for like hours at a time before. It's surprisingly addictive. But that's pretty much all I wanted to show here at Club LOL. I probably won't come here every night, but maybe we'll come here to hang out, maybe talk to some animals if we see them, and... I don't know about you guys, but there's just something about a city-like area at nighttime in the snow that is just so pretty and just so majestic to me and I don't know I just like it seeing the snow here having all these buildings everywhere the city lights all that how about we go to the post office and I mail off all the letters that I have written that I said I was gonna write so I'm doing a little bit of editing magic thing is this animal that I wanted to meet is not out at until after 10 o'clock yeah I think this is the latest that she has ever been out in any Animal Crossing game meet Phyllis mmm huh oh it's just another customer hi what's up Yes, Phyllis is known for being a jerk. She is the nighttime postal worker. When no one else is awake, she just sort of has to sit here all night doing a really, really thankless job. Uh, I want to send my letters, and I'm going to flash on screen what the letters are looking like. Not to waste your time, just to kind of show you what they look like, and yeah, we're all done here. Uh, now, Phyllis was a jerk in previous Animal Crossing games. She no longer has this defining trait anymore. Uh, for whatever reason, she just seems to have this obsession with doors. Look. Oh yeah? Good. Make sure you close the door on your way out. That's all she ever says. Like, every single, like, mean thing that she is saying is just doors. Like, she has, like, a massive door fetish or something like that. I don't know. But, um, that's really about it. She was the last animal that I is living here in town right now that we haven't talked to. Um, so, yeah, she's pretty much all I wanted to show. So, back to 8 p.m.-ish land. Okay, all done at the post office. That leaves only the second to last thing that I want to do, and the last thing that I want to do, in case you couldn't tell by the very first thing that I said. <laughs> Just being so weird and out there today. Um, we want to go to the train station, and we want to talk to the donation gyroid Lloyd, because I have enough bells to pay off the museum expansion, so tomorrow we're getting a bigger house, and we might even get a bigger museum, so here we go. Only 108, only 198,000 bells away. Yeah, chump change if you're talking to Nook, really. There you go. There is all the funds needed for the museum, and there we go. Uh, something that I didn't mention when we did the multiplayer video with Andrew Arcade is that other human players can actually come into your town and they can pay off loans like that. They can't pay off your house, but they can pay off public works projects. So if you ever have a friend who's got a lot of money and they want some way to help you out, you can, you know, have them do that for you. And hey, bulletin board. I haven't checked this yet today. Uh, oh, okay, that was what I was supposed to check to see the club LOL was open. And there's also the announcement for the uh, street lamp. Okay, nothing really all that special. Nothing going on over here in the plaza today. No sort of special visitors, nothing like that. So, I say what we do next is head back home, of course. I can't think of any other better way to end the video off besides that. I mean, heck, it's the way we do it every day. Because those two DLC items that I got yesterday, I never did show them. And it wasn't because I forgot. It was just that, I'll be honest, I couldn't find them. <laughs> I, like, looked through my dresser so many times. And I just could not find them for the life of me. So I'm going to look all over the place and see if I can find them once again. Because I really want to show them. Found them! They were on page six of my blue pages. I can't believe that I could not find those. I guess I just scrolled down to page five every time that I checked and thought I looked at them all. Okay, so, first of all, rolling suitcase. Not really anything all that special. I mean, I guess it's sort of nice looking if you wanted to have, like, some kind of explorer room, like that compass or something like that that I was saying before, but I don't know if I'll be using this. But the item that I really like is the tree stump chair. Look at that. Snowy tree stump with some holly or whatever it is on it. I, don't, I forget what it's actually called. I hope it's called holly or else I'm going to look really silly. Um, this is a really, really nice Christmasy item. It's just a tree stump that you can sit on. In fact, you can do this with real tree stumps if you use your axe to chop down trees. Um, so it's kind of like a little tree stump that you can have in your house. Uh, this is a very nice Christmas item. In fact, Japan got this item last year for December and we're just now getting it because, of course... This game came out like six months earlier in Japan, and they had it for the holidays that year. And of course, we had no Animal Crossing. Yeah. 
Wonderful. Uh, I'm just going to put these items away in a pocket where I'm going to remember them, along with all my other jingle furniture. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, as much as I would love to watch this tennis tournament on TV, I'm going to be turning it off. And, yeah. Tomorrow in Animal Crossing New Leaf. We got the museum expansion, we got a house expansion, and we got a Nookling store expansion all in the same day. Loads of new stuff going on. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>